and welcome to this weekly vlog. You join me on a very exciting day. Today I am finally getting around to sorting out my wardrobe and all my clothes. My spare room, my dressing room has been a mess now for a good two weeks. But yeah, so that's my day today. It's Friday. I'm very excited for the weekend and I'm just so grateful that I have the time today to sort that room out because honestly it's been stressing me out a lot. Um so let's go and do that. I'm gonna put a little vloggy on. I'm absolutely loving watching Grackle lately. Grace, she is just so funny. I just adore her. And I also got my hair cut yesterday. So basically I'm now not gonna colour my hair anymore. I'm just gonna let like all of this grow out. Um it's only like a little bit of blonde and I am naturally blonde so I don't know how dark it'll go but I'm just kind of over putting colour on my hair. I don't know. Um, I think it's a Hailey Bieber effect. So no more colour and more cuts and trims for me. Hey guys i'm just popping in can we just talk about how epic this suit is like i'm just i'm obsessed i was looking for this everywhere and i finally found it on this website called Anne's cottage it took me about a month to locate it <laughs> welcome back today i have a very exciting jacket new jacket to share with you but before we share the jacket with you i wanted to sit down because um this is something that i feel like other people might be experiencing or it might be a topic that is um you know there's some conversation going on on about it online but over the past five months i've found myself kind of having this urge to make larger purchases and i think it's because for so many years now i have shopped um on the high street and i definitely over the past year and a half have cut that back so much i've always been transparent with you guys on my social media that i have not cut out fast fashion of my life 100 percent however i have made huge changes in my life there was one point where i was buying stuff from these um companies every week and now it is very far and in between that i will make a purchase from these companies partly because i've just found so many good bits in um the charity shops here in the uk and also i'm absolutely loving vinted it is just an amazing app you can find so many good bits on there but yes so with that kind of thought process in mind i have been kind of researching and starting to develop my knowledge a little bit more of more designer brands and more kind of sustainable higher quality brands and with these brands does come a bigger price tag right now really recognize my privilege of being able to purchase something from these brands and i made my first purchase i made my first purchase from a a vintage luxury brand and i cannot tell you how amazing it actually feels it feels i feel so lucky and i'm so grateful to have been able to buy this jacket but yes i also just want to give a quick shout out to victoria from in the fro because i have been absolutely loving her account and her youtube channel lately and to be honest, over the past six months, I've been watching her videos kind of religiously and she works with a lot of designer brands and um, I find it so inspirational and she has actually taught me designer brands. Like before watching her videos, I was like, I don't, um, I don't know the names, I don't know what brand does what and by watching her videos, I'm starting to now get an understanding of the type of brands that are out there and what each brand does and makes and the designer world can be a crazy world for a lot of us and it can be something that a lot of us think is out of reach but I'm here to tell you that 
it is not out of reach you know manifestation and believing and being positive really does help us to kind of get to those positions you want to be in life and i by no means am saying that every single purchase i make now is going to be designer because it's probably it's likely not going to be but i just feel like this purchase is such a huge one in my life and career and that i wanted to kind of pop in here and give like a bit of an explanation not that i owe anyone an explanation but yeah basically what i wanted to do was just express that i am really excited that i'm starting to kind of expand my knowledge and starting to learn a little bit more about those more sustainable brands and luckily being able to make a purchase from one of them but yeah overall i think what i'm trying to say is that the key i believe is shopping more conscious and just being aware of our purchases and as long as we're all doing that together i think we can really make a good change um, to the environment and to the fashion industry so I definitely have become more cautious and aware of the things that I'm buying and I think just having that knowledge and just being able to intercept my thoughts and being like do I really need this spotty dress from ASOS probably not I've probably already got one in my wardrobe and stuff like that I think just really helps us make a difference so with that in mind let me get the jacket and show it to you it's from a brand called magpie vintage and it looks like this guys how incredible and this is the back and then inside it's got like this 60s material which i just adore so i saw these mainly on instagram and what i loved most about these jackets is that she only makes one of each so each one is slightly different there was one that was kind of like more blue and red which i loved but by the time i got on the website it was actually sold out it's all made from kind of old re reusable blankets which i just think is even more special i have been on the hunt for kind of like a patchwork jacket for a while and then i saw this one i just thought the wool and like the the vintagey kind of like winter feel to it is so appealing and the little tassels on the back i just love it and then one of the best parts about this brand is that the the inside logo um it says magpie vintage and then it says f fast fashion which i just think is so cool it just like adds that extra layer of like this is cool so yet yeah, when it arrived it actually had a tag on that gave all the information on how long it took to make who made it and what it was made out of so i believe it took 10 hours to make but yes yeah, so this is my forever jacket that i will be wearing forever and always and i am in love with it and yes expect to see me in it so much over the christmas break and the new year i'm very excited to be styling it a lot of times okay and on that note i'm gonna go and grab a cup of tea i think the next clip that i will see you guys in is when i'm gonna go to a furniture shop and try and find some new furniture for this house so that is where you will find me next hello guys happy sunday um i said to you in the previous clip that i would next see you on sunday and today is that day um it is n half nine in the morning and myself and my sister abby are up and we're gonna head to a furniture charity shop because basically for this house i need to get a few more pieces um oh my god there was a there was a gray cat in my neighbor's window well not my neighbor's across the road he's so cute maybe i can show you him Okay, you can kind of see him there. How cute is that? Okay guys, so as I was saying before, I was chatting to you at home and then I <laughs> realised okay, I need to actually leave the house now. Um, but yeah, so we are currently on our way to shop for some furniture for the house because um, I'm just feeling like the house is just a bit incomplete and I think I mentioned this yesterday but I just want to like tidy it up a bit and get a few rooms like look a bit more done like the living room is so um, there's a few things that I want so we're just going to head to this big furniture charity shop and just see if there's any bits there might not be hopefully there is um, and yeah let's have a little browse do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah.
Hello and welcome back to this vlog. You join me in our spare room. Yes, I'm picking up my camera today again because um, last time I spoke to you was when I went furniture shopping and I wanted to give you a bit of an update. So I don't know if I, if I said correctly, but basically um, we have two living rooms in this house. So I've been trying to kind of get the back living room a bit more styled, a little bit more put together. It's been one of them, them rooms that I've just kind of had our laundry in. It's just been where we've like, folded our laundry or like hung it on the maiden and I really just wanted to like make it a bit more of a room like if we have friends around we can come into this room and chill a little bit and yeah so on that note um I spent two days ago um kind of putting it together and I was gonna vlog me doing it all but I really didn't have a plan in mind and there is a still a lot of work to be done to this room Um, this is just like the very beginning but yeah first off let me show you what I picked up from the charity shop I actually went in for a chest of drawers but couldn't find one as expected just cannot find one anywhere lately I don't know what it is I came out with a brand new trolley bar so let me show you that Okay, so this is what this room now looks like. I will put a little before photo on the screen now because it definitely looks a lot better. But yeah, I do want to get like a big either like mirror or wall print for there, but that's to come in a few weeks. But this is the little trolley slash bar that I got. How cute. I just saw it and I just thought that would make such a perfect little space for this corner because... We had nothing in this corner before. It was just like, I think we had this plant over here, here, and then we had this cabinet across this wall. And I just felt like putting this tray here just made the area a bit more like neat and complete. So um, I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Just displayed a few of our glasses on there. We still have this cabinet and this one has some glasses still in there and we're going to put like more alcohol in there at christmas i didn't want to get rid of this because i absolutely adore it i was gonna gonna put it in my office but i just decided that it's like kind of really like a cool piece of um furniture and i didn't want it to be wasted in my office so i thought i'd leave it down here and yeah i've got these little fairy lights which just from home and bargain my disco balls which i just love and then some Prosecco, some nice glasses, my little candle. And then down here, I've put our vinyls and the vinyl player. Um, we did have the vinyls up on this wall, as you can see. One, two, three, four. But they kept falling off the wall. So we had them on like little shelves and they just kept falling. I don't know whether it's like this wall is not stable. I don't really know, to be completely honest. But it was getting my, on my nerves because it just meant that of the evening i could just hear them falling all the time so got rid of that i'm gonna get my sister's boyfriend he's a painter so i'm gonna get him to sort this wall out but for now i just think they look better all compact here i think it looks fab so that's that that trolley was 25 pound a bargain i think and it's on wheels so even better and then we're gonna go to this side like i said we've got this cabinet in the corner kept mike's guitar here then this cabinet was from facebook marketplace so i do want to put like my little candles in here but these candles actually don't fit so i'm gonna wait to find some more um then we just got like an ice bucket and then some glasses in there and then moving over we've got a little gray chair in the corner little plant and then this cabinet which i love if you have followed me for a long time this used to be our tv cabinet in our flat but when we came here we kind of upgraded a little bit to another one because this one the colors were just too dark for the living room the living room was all white and kind of bright so this wood was not working in there so i've moved it over here it was originally along this wall i moved it here for now I don't know 100% if this works, but for now, I think it's nice and cozy. It's kind of just the room where, you know, 
you want to read your book or you want to have a glass of wine whilst nobody else is in you can come in here and relax and honestly at night with all the candles lit and all the plants it looks lovely i think i just want to get like a load of more plants here and then a big frame or a big print for this wall because it's a bit you can see it's kind of like a bit damaged um we are renting in case you didn't know so we've got to make do with what we have right now um but honestly i'm so grateful to have everything in this room i think it looks great and cozy and i think for now it's come together i'm just so grateful that this this space is empty and then i can walk because before it was honestly a mess as you can see by the photo we just had clothing everywhere and it feels so nice now just to have a room that i can just walk into and it'd be empty and clean and just not a mess basically so yeah that's my little update the house is still a work in progress i still have a lot that i want to do to it um but i just feel like my head is so much cleaner because this room is kind of like you know it's clean it's it's peaceful it's put together and everything has a place that is the key sentence that i was looking for everything has a place and that is what i love make sure you're subscribed because i'm definitely going to be doing a lot more home updates in these weekly vlogs which if you didn't know come out every wednesday now so if you want to see more home updates make sure you hit the subscribe button hello guys i am popping in at the end of this video to end it and say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog i know it's a very chatty one and i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless stay tuned for sunday's video which is a vintage thrifting styling video if you like the app vintage then you're gonna love the video so make sure you are subscribed for that and i will see you on sunday Bye.